Welcome to Thoroughbred Racing Action here at Gulfstream Park. We've got eight races on this Thursday card. We'll send it upstairs to PIL with the scratches and the changes. The weather is beautiful, partly cloudy skies, temperatures reaching the upper 80s today. It's warming up in South Florida. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is fast. The turf course is firm. In race one, it's a field of seven over the main track. There are no changes. Racing at Gulfstream. Bad stumble at the start for Wednesday Night Lad. Good break for the others with Major King away quickly. Moving out the rail, Federal Exchange is on the go. Into the top light, this runs for you, and Nature Boy emerges with the advantage. It's Nature Boy in front, three parts of a length. This runs for you as second. Belts and Brooks on the outside, third. Major King is with the top horses while racing in fourth. Sent through at the rail. That's Wednesday Night Lad after the bad break, then Federal Exchange. And the favorite is at the back, Endless Sunset, behind a 24-1 opening quarter. Down the back stretch with five furlongs to run. It's Nature Boy in front at a giant number. He leads by a length. The rail is open for Wednesday Night Lad, who tries to quicken through. In the middle, that's This Runs for You, up to fourth, Belts and Brooks. Then Major King, three back to Federal Exchange, and Endless Sunset is last. Half a mile from the wire, the opening half mile was 46-3 and three as they round the far turn. It's Nature Boy by a length. This runs for you is second, three wide. Belton Brooks is now third, fresh legs for Major King. Morales sends him on with the task. He's four wide and gaining good ground. Nothing much yet from Endless Sunset, who tries to get a rally together with five sixteenths to go. This runs for you, held together up front. Belton Brooks on the outside, second, wide on the course, and Major King continues with his run. Dropping back now is Wednesday Night Lab, the at the top of the stretch. This runs for you. Set down, driving on a length and a half advantage. Second is Belts and Brooks. Major King's bid is stalled. Nothing at all from Endless Sunset. Trying to hold it together as this runs for you. One more time, Belts and Brooks takes aim, and this time he's gaining good ground. Belts and Brooks getting up under Miguel Vasquez. He wins by a length over this runs for you. Second, nicely clear of Major King. Third, Nature Boy held on for fourth to complete the Super in 138 and two. Middle, safe conduct and Sir Seamus, the first two to break the line, and Sir Seamus will land an early advantage. Second is safe conduct, moving on the outside, the gray read on. At the rail, that's cashier check, and it's a back up of two to hot blooded and Tallahatchie Bridge, their last of all, chasing a loose leader and Sir Seamus. Sir Seamus aggressive around the first turn. He bumps the margin to seven lengths. Second is Safe Conduct, who will raid his own trip from the race favorite, Reed On, who's on the outside of Cashier Check. They're racing third and fourth behind a 23-second opening quarter. They've gone three ahead of the team at the back, hot-blooded in Tallahatchie Bridge. Both have plenty of pace to chase, and that pace provided by Sir Seamus. Five furlongs from home, Sir Seamus down to a four-length advantage from Safe Conduct in second. White Blinker's Cashier Check is at the rail from the gray Reed On, then hot-blooded and Tallahatchie Bridge. The opening half mile flat out wicked, 45-3, and three, and Sir Seamus, his lead is down to two now. Out of three wide move from Reed on. In between horses, safe conduct, cashier check next. Then Tallahatchie Bridge and hot-blooded as they round the far turn. Sir Seamus a length and a half in front. Driven in second is safe conduct. Reed on is now third. Cashier check is at the rail. Tallahatchie Bridge is angled to the far outside and hot-blooded trying to follow somebody through. They're at the top of the stretch. Sir Seamus, he's still going here. Off cover, cashier Cashier check at the rail, hot blooded down the center, read on. Eighth of a mile to go. Cashier check, read on, hot blooded. Sir Seamus hits the wall. 16th to go, hot blooded gets through. Read on runs right with him. Hot blooded, read on, it's hot blooded. Hot blooded and a Misael Jaramillo threaded through traffic and beat read on narrowly in 134 flat.
Florida Derby. After three quarters in 112 and one known agenda is now on to take over the lead. It's known agenda for St. Elias Stable. Florida Derby winner, known agenda. They're off. Last in, first out. Mr. Narcissistic gets the first call and tries to clear the inside. Andale is on to challenge the connectors away in third. Jackson's Webb a bit slow into stride, last of the four as they race to the half-mile point. Edgar Zayas has a big rainfall of Mr. Narcissistic, but he's up and around Andale to clear to the inside as they round the far turn. Up to the outside, Jackson's Webb is now with the connector at the back of the field. They have three furlongs to run. Mr. Narcissistic by a length and a half. Jackson's Webb is making a bid for second. Andale still holds inside position, and the connector is still close enough. All four within two and a half lengths of each other as they race a quarter of a mile from home. Mr. Narcissistic has the lead from the inside. Andale from behind the speed. The connector looks for a way out. Jackson's Webb on the outside. They come past the eighth pole. Zayas tries to get Mr. Narcissistic to shift gears. He's just in front. Jackson's Webb runs at him on the outside with a 16th to go. Jackson's Webb and Mr. Narcissistic. Mr. Narcissistic, Jackson's Web surging to him. Here's the wire photo. Very, very close. Did Mr. Narcissistic hold on or did Jackson's Web get him? The placing judges will decide in 58 and 1. In the middle, it's Wicklow Gal, who was quick into stride on the outside of Ring Thing toward the rail, Nana Fanny. Away in fourth is Peace Seeker, and the trailer is Radiant Gem. In the run to the first turn, Edgar Zayas puts Wicklow Gal right where she wants to be. On the engine early, she's a length in front of a Ring Thing. Pocketed up is Nana Fanny. Paco has her covered up about a length and a half off the pace setter, working two better than Peace Seeker, and the trailer is Radiant Gem. The opening quarter complete, it goes to Wicklow Gal. She's a length in front. A ring thing is second. Nana Fanny under a loose rein, third at the rail. The quarter was just 25 and 1. Peace Seeker races by herself in fourth, and she's two better than the trailer Radiant Gem. They have less than five eighths to run. The leader is Wicklow Gal by a length. The ring thing is second. They start to quicken up a touch now. As Nana Fanny is back to third, she's lost a touch of ground. Peace Seeker still under a hold with options on where she wants to race in fourth, and the trailer is Radiant Gem. They went to half in 49 seconds flat, so indeed a quickening up in the second quarter for the leader, Wicklow Gal, who heads around the turn on top by a length and a half. A ring thing is second. Nana Fanny begins to improve again. Meanwhile, Vasquez hard at work on Peace Seeker. She's trying to gain ground while three wide, and the trailer is Radiant Gem. Five sixteenths from home, and the leader is still Wicklow Gal. She's still going, held together pretty well. Nana Fanny tries to get into the clear to show what she's got. A ring thing tries to keep her in. Peace Seeker's not doing much after three quarters and one thirteen and three. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Wicklow Gal, an eighth of a mile from home and two on top. Now loose is Nana Fanny, but it might be too late. They come past the eighth pole. Edgar Zayas trying to get one more furlong from Wicklow Gal. Nana Fanny is second, but time has run out. Wicklow Gal goes gate to wire. Nana Fanny second, a ring thing third. Peace Seeker is fourth. Ian 143 and two. Coast to Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. Player friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. Every weekend.
and they're off. Good start from between horses for horse with no name. Moving out the rail, here's Leave It Blank on the go. Leave It Blank to the top. First timer Sue comes away in the top flight. Horse with no name splits horses to race in third. These three going quickly in the early stages here. They've opened two on Modern Lane, who's in the pink colors racing in mid-flight. Fuji fires on his outside, then Kohaku with Federal Highway toward the rail. It's a gap of two and a half to Intransigent, then 51.50, and max forward speed is last. Around the far turn they go. A horse with no name engaged by Sue on the outside second. Modern Lane picking it up pretty well. He's into third and on the improve for Sonny Leone. Outside fourth, that's Fuji Fire. Dropping back is put Leave It Blank. Then comes Kohaku trying to wind it up between horses is 51-50. They're a quarter of a mile from home. Modern Lane tries to sneak through on the rail. And here he comes now. It's Sue who just took the lead. Modern Lane, he got through on the rail and he's making a sustained charge to the top. On the outside logger of not coming on from third, it's 51.50. They come past the eighth pole. The leader is Modern Lane by three. Here's 51.50 to try to get into second. Sue between horses. Modern Lane at 18 to one with a sustained run under Sunny Leon to win by a length and a half. Sue ran well to be second. 51.50 third. They were well clear of Kohaku, who's in a fourth place photo with Intransigent in 112 and two. Seven furlongs to the journey. They're in the gate. And they're off. Unrelentless was away quickly on the outside. Marshmallow Queen forwardly positioned. Marquez is after Papa is ice for speed. Papa is ice to the top. Marshmallow Queen is second from Unrelentless, who trips out pretty well in third. Off cover, it's Fontina into fourth ahead of Classic Ballad. And the late running La Mirada lets the pace develop ahead of her as they race four and a half furlongs from home. Up front, the leader is Papa is Ice, but only narrowly with Marshmallow Queen second. Fontina on the outside is now third on Relentless is back to fourth. Then it's Classic Ballad and the trailer in La Mirada. 22-2 for the opening quarter. They're less than half a mile from the wire. Papa is Ice has the lead. Marshmallow Queen is alongside in second. A length and a half to Fontina in third on Relentless is at the rail. Three wide Classic Ballad and two and a half to La Mirada. Around the far turn they go. Zayas just moved on the favorite, and Marshmallow Queen is at the 5 16 on top by a length. Papa's Ice is second. Here's Paco on Unrelentless off cover to challenge for a spot. Outside, that's classic ballad La Marada sneaking through with an inside lane through a 45 and 4 half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Marshmallow Queen is now an eighth of a mile from home and five on top. She opened up in a hurry on him. At the rail, La Mirada trying to outfinish Unrelentless for second, but they're all left in the wake of Marshmallow Queen. Marshmallow Queen continues in very good form. She's going to win wrapped up by Zayas and posing for the picture. She was seven in front. La Mirada second, Unrelentless third. Close for fourth, either Classic Ballad or Papa is Ice. Get 124-1. Jet Wings gets the first call at the rail. Here's Esperone moving to challenge these two race on. Moving up between horses, that's Galapan. Hunting room at the inside is Commandant. Out in the center is Heels the Soul and Zio Lorenzo between. They have half a mile to go. 
Jet Wings has the lead by almost a length. Esperone tightened up while racing in second. Two back to on the outside. That's Heels the Soul in third. Zio Lorenzo is there fourth. Moving up to the outside, Commandant is second last after being beaten for speed. And the trailer is Galapan. They whistled a quarter and they passed the quarter mile mark. Jet Wings pushes his chips all in at the quarter pole. He's three in front. Esperone is second. Wheeling to the center is Commandant. Just ahead of him is Heels the Soul. They're at the top of the stretch. Jet Wings on his way home with a four length lead. Down the center, Anthony Thomas and Commandant charging hard. In between horses, it's Heels the Soul. There's a 16th more. Krigger trying to get home on Jet Wings. On the outside, Commandant is second, but time has run out. Jet Wings down the road. He's a length and a half winner over Commandant second. Nicely clear of the others at 56 and two. Inside, it's Gravy gets the first call, taken on by Spetro. These two speed off a length and a half in front of Kingfish Stevens, who comes away in third. Outside, it's the doorman. Inside, Pluma Roja. Two back to Nantasket Beach, then Born a Gambler. He's third last. Second last is Mufra, and Exult is the early trailer. And they run around the first turn. Spetro has inside position and a narrow advantage with its Gravy alongside in second. Pluma Roja had a big number close to the action with Kingfish Stevens on his outside. The doorman is three wide around that first turn, a length and a half in front of Nantasket Beach. Then it's Born a Gambler, five in front of Mufra, and a length to the trailer, Exult. 23-1 and one for an opening quarter as they race down the backstretch. Hits Gravy on the outside, Spetro toward the rail, their heads apart. Out in the clear goes the doorman. He's a bit deep with Kingfish Stevens just to his inside. Pluma Roja stays parked at the rail from fifth ahead of Borna Gambler. Then back to the rail. It's Nantasket Beach. Out of last exult. Now the trailer Mufra. 46-1 and one for the opening half mile. Around the far turn they go. It's Spetro used hard with the advantage. Moving in from the back. Here's speed from Nantasket Beach. Bravo trying to find him some racetrack. He's three wide and on the attack now. On the outside, here comes Nantasket Beach. From last, exult is underway. Over the top, Borna Gambler, they straighten for the drive. Nantasket, Beach, rouse forward to take the lead. In between horses, Exult, outside it's Borna Gambler, but inside the final 16th, Joe Bravo and Nantasket Beach with a winning move. Nantasket Beach, sharp in victory, he won by six. Out for second, Exult, back to third, Borna Gambler, then Spetro, and the doorman to complete your high five. In 133 and two. That wraps up Thursday racing here at Gulfstream. We'll be back with you tomorrow for an eight race card on Friday afternoon. First post at 1.10 p.m. See you out here.